So this past September, Oculus announced at their Oculus Connect 6 conference, this new feature coming to the Oculus Quest called Oculus Link. Uh, the way it works is by using a USB-C cable from your Quest to your gaming computer, you'll be able to run all your Oculus Rift content on your Oculus Quest, which is pretty awesome to be said. Uh, they said it will be available sometime in November, uh, but they did not give us an official date. Uh, when I heard that announcement, I was super excited uh, since I chose the Quest over the Rift S uh, when they were released. And I just sort of hoped for a feature uh, like this to be released by Oculus Team, or anyone really, uh, so that I could finally use the headset on the sim racing games that I have and support the VR stuff. Uh, now, there has been a way to use your Oculus Quest with your PC uh, since around the time that the headset was released back in May of 2019. Uh, but it was not endorsed by Oculus, and it works a little bit different. Uh, the software is called ALVR, uh, which stands for Air Light VR. And uh, instead of using a USB-C cable to tether your headset to the PC, uh, it works wirelessly via your Wi-Fi network. Uh, now, all that sounds great, and I tested the software. Uh, there was a noticeable lag um, between that what was on screen and what you saw through your VR headset. So even if I'm standing a few feet from the wireless router and connected to the 5 GHz network, I was still getting a little bit of motion sickness because of the delay. Uh, so the Oculus Sling though, uh, due to the high speed data transfer of a USB 3.0 cable, in theory uh, should solve that lag problem. Uh, so when the Oculus released the software a few days ago, I basically couldn't wait to give it a try. Uh, now is it worth it? Let's find out. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to go over a few things. Uh, the system requires for the Oculus Link uh, is roughly the same as the, what it is for the Rift S. Uh, and keep in mind at the time of this video, uh, the Oculus Link is not compatible with AMD graphics cards and only a small selection for NVIDIA video cards. Uh, so if you wanted to give this a try, uh, make sure your system meet these requirements. Uh, also, make sure that you have the latest software from Oculus on your computer and on your Quest headset, uh, otherwise this is not going to work. And keep in mind that this is still in a beta from Oculus, so uh, you might run into a few glitches here and there. Not all USB cables are going to work for this. Uh, Oculus is releasing their own cable in late 2019. So for this beta period, they're recommending a high quality USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB 3.0 A to C cable. Okay, so for this test, I'm using a USB-C cable that I've had for quite some time with some right angle adapters on it. Uh, that way that the cable is not um, sticking out from the side of the Quest or from the top of my computer. And I have links for those cables and adapters in the description below. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so here I have a Project Cars 2. Uh, we're going to do a simple quick test here on a custom race. Just have some uh, AIs here on the lobby. I'll give you guys an idea how this would work if you were to use the Quest Link. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's see. So I got the cable here coming from the back. It's coming from the computer, which I'll have the link in the description for it, along with the right angle adapter right here so the cable is not sticking out this way. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm running with a Corvette. And as you can see here, the dash is great. I mean, everything looks super clear. I can read everything, radio, drink. Uh, pit flash and everything um, Even with the cars on the on the grid here. I mean I have Literally no slowdown whatsoever. I would say if somebody told me this was the rift desk because I don't know how these headsets look like uh, I would not be able to tell the difference uh, according to what I had before so um, But overall like I said, I mean you can see graphical wise, I mean this is I have it set uh, on the VR settings of the game. You can adjust your uh, super sampling mode and I have that to 1.4 with the computer that I have right now, which is um, pretty decent. I have no notice of slowdowns at all. I can see this running at 60 frames per second, which is what you want. Um, and uh, I can, like I said, I can read uh, very, very well. Normally with VR games, it's hard to see small writings and things. And um, I can see my dash right over here. I mean, on my screen, I can see the dash right in front of me. We got the rear view mirror right up on top. We got the mirror right here on the right and the car because this car has a digital rear view mirror. Ooh. 
Uh, and overall, here, let me just pull over here because there's too many things going on at once. It's hard to race while I talk. Uh, but over here in the wheel, you can see, I mean, this is, this is really good. You have the buttons here. You can read start, turn, reverse, alarm, turn, and all these things. I can turn on my uh, wipers. Um, like I said, I have no noticeable slow down at all. I can look around the car. Let me give it a look. The back, there's something in the back to see. Uh, mirrors on the sides. You can see those. Uh, but overall, uh, like I said, I mean, the game runs great. I would not be able to tell the difference. Comparing this more on the entry level with the Rift S. And as of right now, like I said, I cannot tell the difference. So uh, let's just take a quick look at how um, uh, Seto Corsa Competizione runs uh, with this setup. Okay guys, so here I have a Seto Corsa Competizione and I've just also set up a simple quick uh, race with some AI. I'm also racing in Spa. Uh, it's, I find that it's one of the tracks in Aceto that has uh, the most graphics, a lot of trees on the background and all that. So uh, I find it get a little bit more graphical intensive. So uh, let's take a look so you guys can see how it looks like. So let's see here. Now you can't see the menu, the way this game works. You can only see my dash. Um, the menu just gets sent separately, I guess, to the VR headset. So I can see the menu where I can start things up here. So let's take a look. Let's get this started. Okay, so you know I can see like in here I can see the in-game menus on my dash, but overall it's out of the way. Everything's not nothing really that bugs me. I can see the dash really clear. I can see the dash down over here on the car. Uh, rear view mirror works really good. Uh, response is pretty much immediate. I have see the wheel as I'm turning here in the game. I can see the same thing happening on screen. It's just flying all over the place. You know, let me go left. Hopefully I don't get hit by the sides. Like I said, super responsive. I love it. Let me just pull this off. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Uh, this video is just meant to be a very quick review of how the Oculus Link would work with two of my favorite simulators in the market. Uh, honestly, if you're on the fence, choosing between the Rift S or the Quest, uh, the way that the, the Oculus Link works on the Quest, I would choose that on a heartbeat. Uh, the fact that you can also untether the cable, take the cable out of the Quest and play your own games within the Quest itself, you're not depending on the PC, it's a huge plus. And there's some pretty cool games in there that you can uh, play while you're not just connected to PC playing some simulators. Uh, you just have to get the proper USB cable. I posted the one I got over here in the description. Uh, but other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them on below. And if you like the video, please hit the like button for me. That would be awesome. And if you want to get notified next time I put a new video out, uh, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here. It should be on the right side. And that's all I got for you guys. So other than that, have a good one. Peace.